I have some of the scariest video of Donald Trump that we have ever seen. Donald Trump suffered a scary cognitive issue deteriorating very quickly during a rally in Concord, New Hampshire, Trump pronouncing it Concord like the uh, infamous supersonic jet, but it is Concord. Please, sir, Trump, as you can see, soaking wet, he entered a fugue state. Trump rambled about Nikki Haley being responsible for capital security on January 6th. Trump looks confused. The news simply is reporting, oh, Trump mixed up and said Nikki Haley instead of Nancy Pelosi. The truth is Trump gets that vacant look in his eyes where he has these. It, it's almost like the breaking bad fugue state that Walter White faked. He's gone. He's just it's like he's not even there behind his eyes. Nothing he says makes sense. And he talks about how Nikki Haley was responsible for capital security on January 6th, which, of course, she was not. You know, by the way, they never report the crowd on January 6th. You know, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley. He, he already realizes he's confused here. OK, you know, they did. You know, they destroyed all of the information, all of the evidence, everything deleted and destroyed all of it all of it because of lots of things like Nikki Haley is in charge of security. We offered her 10,000 people, what? soldiers, National Guard, so whatever they want. They turned it down. They don't want to talk about that. What? I, I'm slowly starting to think he may not have aced that cognitive dementia screening test. Trump just confused the entire speech yelling China and Russia, Russia or China. And she was sitting there like, what the hell? She didn't. She wasn't. She didn't. I put her in the room. You know, look, one of the reasons I did, because I happen to love the lieutenant governor, Henry McMaster, just confused the entire speech and the rate at which this guy seems to be deteriorating is very scary. Trump talked about canceling the election. Why not cancel it and just give it to him after the all? The poll shows were higher. Just cancel the election. Just say Trump wins automatically because that's a whole. He means it, folks. He's not kidding. Now they're going to say, see, now when I say that, you know, we have fun, we're laughing and kidding. But when I say that he's a fascist, he announced tonight he wants to cancel the election. <laughs> He knows he has to play it off, but this is a guy who believes. Why are we even having a primary? I'm winning in the polls. Just end it. Just give it to me and let me move on. So maybe I can get elected president to save myself criminally, to save myself criminally. Trump also now focusing in on really the only person standing between him and the nomination, Nikki Haley, attacking her. She's not smart enough. And by the way, in the same breath mentions that dictators are very fine people was doing. And now he's back in a woman that I know very well, a woman that is not capable of doing this job. I know her very well. She's not tough enough. She's not smart enough and she wasn't respected enough. She cannot do this job. She's not going to be able to deal with President Xi. She's not going to be able to deal with Putin and Kim Jong Un and all of the people that you the very fine people you have to deal with. Are they very fine? The dictators are the first few. You know, Trudeau is not a fine person. Macron is not a fine person. The, the fine people are Trump, Xi and Kim. This guy is sick. And then lastly, Trump just insulting people ad nauseum during these events. Guys like Adam Schiff and you know Shifty Sh Pencil Neck, Pencil Neck. He's a marvel. No, he's a structural marvel. He has a neck, and his head is like a watermelon, and his neck. And how that neck can hold up that big, oversized, ugly head is hard to believe. <laughs> no, it's true. Head. It's like your finger on a basketball. Some of these guys, they spin it. No, no, he's a terrible guy. This is what the Republican Party wants again as their nominee for the third time. The first time he just barely won 77,000 votes in three states while losing the popular vote. 
The second time he just lost everything, popular vote, electoral college, and they want to do it again. And the best he can do is talk about which fruits Adam Schiff's head resembles. And by the way, I asked Adam Schiff about the watermelon head thing when he was on the show. Uh, he, he had a pretty funny reaction. Go and check that out. So a very rapidly deteriorating Trump. He knows not only does the primary probably depend on tomorrow night's primary in New Hampshire, but he knows that, quite frankly, as he perceives it, his freedom might depend on the New Hampshire primary and therefore whether he becomes the nominee, whether he has a shot at winning, which he thinks would keep him out of prison. Legal experts don't agree, but this is what Donald Trump believes. Let's now talk about finally Nikki Haley jumping on the Trump dementia train. When I'm working on the show or doing stuff on my computer, staying focused and getting in the zone is super important. It's not always easy. I would try Spotify or YouTube playlists. I'd end up actually more distracted than focused. And then someone told me about Brain FM's focus music, which is actually made by scientists working with musicians specifically to help you focus. I tried it and it worked really well for me, which is why I asked them to be a sponsor. With Brain FM, I just feel more productive and focused, easier to start on difficult work, easier to stay focused without getting distracted and do that really important deep work that I love to talk about. The team behind Brain FM actually won a National Science Foundation grant related to ADHD. And the app includes a special mode just for ADHD if you need it. They even have amazing sleep sounds that I've started using at night. You can try Brain FM totally free for an entire month. Just go to brain.fm slash Pacman. The link is down below.